Hi everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Builderall team. In this video, you will learn how to create a video sales alert funnel inside Cheetah. So let's get started. Let's start by taking a look at the VSL funnel blueprint. What is the purpose of the video sales letter funnel? Now this funnel is designed to use a video on the landing page to make the sale of your product. And at the bottom of the page, we have the order form available for them to make the purchase. Now from here, they will be taken to a OTO page, which is the one-time offer page, where they will get an opportunity to purchase another product. And if they decide not to, then they'll be taken to the downsell page. Now the downsell page is designed to still offer that one-time offer, maybe at a discount or a significant discount, and maybe even a payment plan or a different product altogether. From here, they'll be sent to the checkout and then conclude at the thank you page. Let's go take a look inside Cheetah and see how we've set these pages up. All right, so here we are at the video sales letter funnel inside Cheetah. Now, as I mentioned on the blueprint, this is going to be made up of four different pages. I've got my home page, my one time offer, my down sell, and my thank you. So now let's go up into the pages and kind of show you how we're going to put this all together. So this is going to be the VSL home page. Now, just as I mentioned, this is where your main product is going to be sold. So again, your video here is going to do all the selling for you. And then you'll scroll down and your customer will click on this option to say, yes, I want it. And then it will take them through the checkout process. Or you can go in here and add an actual checkout to your panel so that it's all on one page. Now, first, what I want to call your attention to is this actual template here. So if you're not familiar with how to set up a VSL page, well, all you have to do is go here to add select panels and builder all has made it so easy for us to go through here and really just search for the different or specific page that we're looking for and select it so again for this example if i select vsl page it gives me two options to work with so i've got my business vsl page and my app app vsl page so for this example i selected this one here i clicked on it and it dragged it in here and all I did was go in here and make whatever adjustments I needed to make. Now, again, this just gives you the idea so you can go in here and start from scratch and build your own VSL uh, landing page. Now, down here at the very bottom here, again, we have two options. We have the option to click here and it will take them to a page that is created inside the super checkout. Or you can go to add. Let's go ahead and click return here. Go to panels. And then again, if we scroll down here to checkout banners, here is a template for the checkout banner. So let's go ahead and select that. And what that's going to do is it's going to add that to the very bottom here for you to go in here and actually adjust and make it your own. So don't forget that in super checkout, you're going to be given a URL or an embed code for your iframe. And this is where you'll plug it in. So if I right click on this iframe, you're going to see the properties here. Let me drag this down a little bit. You're going to see the properties of this element. First off, it's labeled iframe. And so when I right click here, all of the properties or general settings will pop up right here. So here's where you'll take the embed URL or the embed iframe code and put it into here. Okay, here's the URL and then here's the iframe code select apply and then it will show just as you see it right here now if we go up to the very top here this is going to be your video now again on this page this video is super important because this video is supposed to do all the selling for you now to set this up again just simply right click i went into add go into elements now if you go down here to video those options are going to pop up just as you saw them right just go ahead and drag the option into an empty space in your panel and then right click on the video element and then your settings are going to pop up right in here so you'll want to make sure that these are all set to your liking and are ready to go okay so now that we've completed the design of this page let's go ahead and go down to this button here now this button is super important because this is your call to action button so here is going to start the purchase process so if I right click on this button here, next we're going to go to set link. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go into super checkout and create your products and create your offers. And that way you can go in here and select the products from your super checkout. 
So here I have set link and these are your options. If you go down to super checkout, then you can go up here from the drop down and select the products that you've created. Now, if you're constantly like me, for example, have a window open for super checkout and have a window open for web design and editing right inside your cheetah, then what you're going to definitely want to do is go here and refresh the list to make sure that the latest and updated products show up correctly. So here, let's go ahead, since this is the main page and we're going to be selling the main product, I made it simple. So let's go ahead and select that there. But let's take a quick look at these options here. This funnel is designed to offer three products, right? We have the main product, we have the one-time offer product, and we have the downsell. Now, in Super Checkout, all I have to do is create two main products because my downsell is actually going to be my one-time offer sell offered at 50% off. That's why you only see two products here. And we'll go into Super Checkout and take a look. But for this example, let's go ahead and select Main Product. Go to Select and we're all set. Next we're going to go up to save and now let's go to the one-time offer page. So your one-time offer page is going to do the exact same thing. You're offering an entirely new product so your video has to show and demonstrate that. And next just go down here. Now we have two options. Yes I want to buy and two no thank you. So let's go into the yes I want to buy. Right click, set link, Again, go to Super Checkout. What is it that we're buying? We're buying the one-time offer. We're going to press Select. And then if they do not want to buy, we're going to right-click, go to Set Link. So now what we want to do is take them to the down sale. So we're going to select a page inside our funnel, select Down Sale, and there we go. We've activated two links. Let's go up to the top and select save. So next let's go to the down sell page and at the very top you have okay what about a 50% discount. So here this is going to be set up a little bit different. So we have again two buttons. We have a video that is going to highly or re-emphasize the original one time offer. But if this is a different product then you're going to want to have this video showcase that and talk about that different product. So down here Going back to these two buttons, yes I want in and no thank you. So if they select no thank you, we know that all we have to do is go to page, select the page in our funnel and go to thank you. Now I don't have this link right here yet, right? Because again, if I go to set link, it's not an option in super checkout. So we're going to actually have to go into super checkout to set that up. And so let's go ahead and select save. Okay, now next we're inside again our video sales letter funnel with all our pages and over on the left, let's go down to Super Checkout, select that. Now if this is your first time in Super Checkout, make sure you go into Business Info and enter all of the information that is required there or else you will not be able to move forward to create a product, an offer, or even a coupon. So let's take a look at the products that we did create. So here are the two different products. I've got my main product and I've got my OTO one-time offer. Now let's go ahead and just take a look at this main product for example. So what I did was I clicked on create new at the very top and it gives me this exact same page. So you just simply upload a photo, enter product name, language, this information here, go to next and this is where you're going to set up your payment processor. So this for this example is going to be set to PayPal. If you want to go in and set up a different one, do so by selecting from your options here and then setting it up by following these instructions right here. So for this example, we've already set up PayPal, so I'm just going to exit out of there. My currency, United States dollar, refund period 14 days. I want a single payment versus recurring payment. Here is the tax. How much tax do I want to add to the original price? and if there's a sales tax and then this is the actual price of the product. We're going to click on next, go through, continue going through and answering these questions. Here is the different type of checkout. So for this example, I've selected the three step checkout and this is what's key. 
So down here, select your thank you page. Now again, this is the main product. So what is going to be the thank you page? Where do you want to where do you want to redirect them once they've made the purchase? So my thank you page or your upsell page. For this example, it's set to my upsell page or my one-time offer. So I've selected that. And then select the page where you will sell this product. We're going to be selling it from the home page, which is how I have that set up. I'm going to go ahead and select next. Now here is where you're going to want to choose a list that you've created inside Mailing Boss. So this is a funnel test for my main product. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Thank you email settings. Use default thank you email message. You can use that or you can uncheck it and create your own thank you message here. I'm going to go ahead and leave that checked. Go to next. I don't have any restricted areas. This has nothing to do with any restricted areas. And then I'm not going to select anything with regards to integrations. I'm going to select save. And there you go. So now this is the main product that we've gone through. And this is the one time offer product. So I've done the exact same thing. Okay. I've gone in there. The only difference is the price and the photo. So to avoid confusion, I went ahead and added one time photo. And so let's go down here and up here on email campaign. Same thing. You can go in here and choose a different email campaign once that purchase has been made. So I'm going to go ahead and select save. Okay. So here we are in my offers. Now, if I select create offer, it's going to look exactly the same as my edit options. So let me go into edit and all of this is going to be blank. So all you have to do is go in and create an offer name and you have to, in order to create an offer, you have to have a main product. So again, my main product is the OTO, the one time offer. Now here, select your thank you page or upsell page. Now from here, because this is the down sale, where do I want to take them after it's purchased is we want to take them to the thank you page, select the page where you will sell this product. Well, it will be on my down sale page. Okay. So we're all set here. And then next, all you have to do is go to pricing. What kind of a discount do you want to offer on your offer? So here I've entered 50% off. And then here you can also include a coupon, which I'm not going to. And here you just select the refund period. Here you can set a limit of how many of these offers you're offering. So here we're going to select 20, keep it at 20. And I'm going to go ahead and select save. Now, once you do that, it creates links for you. Okay. So here is my offer page and my checkout URL. So I'm going to take the checkout URL. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into my down sell page. And when they say, yes, I want it, I'm going to go in and set the link. Open in a new tab. Let's go ahead and open it in the same tab. And there you go. I'm going to go up here, select save and we're set. All right. So here we are at the home page. We've gone live. So when I scroll down here, once I select that, I want to opt in to purchasing the product described here, I would click there and there you go. It takes me to my first or main product. I just simply continue from here. I'll go through the checkout process. All right. And there you go. So here you see a thank you page created inside super checkout. Now this wasn't the official thank you page. So what's going to happen after my main product has been purchased, I'm going to select continue and then it should take me to my one time offer. So let's go ahead and select that. All right. So here we are at the one time offer. Now, once I've gone through the video, I have to make a decision. So let's say I wanted to buy it and I select, yes, I want in. What it's going to do is it's going to take me to the checkout page to be able to purchase this for $89. Now, if I continue on through the process, all it's going to do is it's going to take me to the thank you page and I'm set. I'm happy go lucky. I've made two purchases for the day and you've made two sales. Now, if we go back into the one time offer and we choose not to, then we would select no thank you. If we select that button there, it takes us to the down sell page where we scroll down learn about the downsell product, 
or learn that the original one-time offer is now discounted at 50% off, I can choose to buy now. And then it continues on with allowing me to take advantage of the $89 product at half off for $44.50. And so after this one-time offer of the downsell page, then they would be taken again to the thank you page. And that is how you create a video sales letter funnel inside Cheetah. So in this video, we walked through the VSL blueprint. We then took a look at each of the pages inside Cheetah where we set up the main product, one-time offer product, downsell product, and the thank you page. We also went into super checkout here. I showed you how to create a new product and also how to create an offer from an existing product. We then linked all the pages in our funnel correctly. I hope you found the content in this video helpful. Until next time, I'm Frankie Menes with the Build Raw team.